What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale, and this week's guest, I'm so excited to have her. She is a red carpet host, comedian extraordinaire. She is a four-time winner of Little Miss Peachtree yes, in Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Heather McMahon, everyone. Hi, oh. honey. How are you? Thanks I for having me. so excited you're here. We're just glowing and glowing. dewy. We're, and Yes, we're dewy. We're sweating. We have 65 pounds of makeup on. Mm -hmm. We've been doing the most. Today. Yes, we yeah. have. You've been doing the most. You have a very big busy week. Yeah, it, it's all good. I, you know, it's like when I come out to LA, they just like, let's pack as much fucking shit mm -hmm. in one day. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a million different things. It's not just like we're here focusing on one thing. It's all of the fucking things. So I feel like I'm going to have an ADHD breakdown at some point today, but yeah, that's fine. That's you know? fine. And this is the place to do Thank that. You. So if I you want to snap, I'd rather you do it in the house. Yeah. Okay, great. great. Um, also, <laughs> also, we like to cram everything in one day yeah. because we don't work the other days no. of the year. I don't know about you, but like, I'm either like, doing shows, I'm working, and then I am literally like a corpse on the couch, check my pulse. I don't move. I don't like do activities on my day off. I yeah. don't uh, run errands. And oh. I, they, they errands pile up. It's not like I have somebody doing it for me. Right. I just don't. The errands run themselves. The errands run themselves. That's yeah. always so good. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, that's really the life that when the errands life. can do themselves. Yeah. They, um, yeah. I, I, Definitely feel that. Uh -huh. um, I am currently in vacation mode right now. Yeah, you look good. Thank I, you. you. Look great in a like a nice silk collar and this the is, color. It's this very is, nice. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm giving you like mm -hmm. futuristic mai tai. <laughs> like that's what I want. We were talking about that before we started. Like I have some itineraries lined up for the vacation and you were like, I just want to be in a pool, in the sand, yeah. mother turtle, lay the eggs with the pina colada. Extensive spa treatments. Ooh. Like I'll let anybody rub me on the beach, in the pool. <laughs> yeah, it could be like a, a you know a line cook from the Panda Express. I don't care. Do you have oil in your pockets? You know rub they me. do. You they know do. they you know do. They do. They've got that good it's oil. It's oil too. Oh yes. That, you know, might make you a little itchy, but it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as you're not allergic. <laughs> yeah, I could be. But we who don't cares? know. Who cares? It, it yeah. wears itself out. Yeah. Um, so I, I just want to like get into it. Like what, uh, it. the VMAs are happening right yeah, now. The VMAs um, are literally, I, I just got a little of the red carpet on the way here. Yeah. And Chapel Roan. I love her. I, I adore do. her. And I think she looks beautiful. And she I'm glad like, she set boundaries. Why is she such like a medieval oil painting? Yes, she really is. Right? Uh-huh. I love it. I do it's too. just this haunted, like midwife in the hallway with a candle. Also kind of vampire-esque. Mm -hmm. She will drink your blood. Mm -hmm. She will finger you good. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> she is, I love her. I live for her. Yeah. And yeah. she tells the paparazzi, fuck just off. shut the fuck off. Yep. You know, she went on this, uh, she was, you know, doing a PSA saying like, just because you're my fan doesn't mean that you have complete access to me. Mm -hmm. I think it was because, and I heard a rumor, I could okay. be wrong, I could be stirring the pot, but apparently whoever was like a, like running this huge fan account of hers was like threatening her family. So she had this like, like psycho Like Selena's fan. killer? Straight up. Straight up. Not yes. Yolanda Saldivarone. Yes, just like Yolanda <laughs> Saldivarone. Who I heard is getting out of prison soon. On my birthday next year. Wait, what? Yes. No. I'm going to go down there with balloons and look like Pennywise from yeah. It and just be like yeah, do outside it. of the prison. Yeah. I can't believe they're letting her out. How I don't long has she been she's in? She's up for parole. Oh, she's up for parole. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. Okay. No. That, yeah, and I mean, if she gets out, no, 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 no. She's no. got a whole bunch of Latinas in San Antonio just waiting. Waiting. <laughs> waiting. <laughs> you know who I'm afraid of? San Antonio Latinas. San Antonio Absolutely. Latinas will get you. Yeah. They will grab hold of you. Mm -hmm. They will throw you in the river, yeah. uh, the river walk, and just hold you down. And 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 that's it. And that's what she deserves. Yeah, I, I know. I know. But yeah, I, that's so crazy. The pre It's always the fucking president of the fan club. It's always the president of the fan club. It's always the business manager. It's always one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. No, I feel you. I'm, uh, yeah, but I, I love Chapel Roan. I think she's fantastic. I love her voice. I love the style. I love the getup. To me, she's also kind of like, you know, Lady Gaga got quiet for a little bit. And when she comes out with these costumes, it's giving me early Lady Gaga. Vibes yes. In the best way. Which is such a, it's so, you want to hear something gross? Yeah, I want to hear everything That's gross. That's nostalgic. Isn't it? Core memory. Wow, we're dating ourselves. No, we that's really the thing. They're like, here's here's some of the most iconic moments. 2010. And you're like, ah! What? The meat outfit? Yes. 
2010. And isn't it wild to think when the meat outfit happened, we were like gasping, like she didn't. It's a charcuterie on her pussy. And now, I mean, now we what's the twice? difference? What's the difference? What's the difference between charcuterie and pussy? And I don't know. I couldn't even no say difference. it. I was like, pussy. pussy. Yeah. Yeah. A little piece of Bajol uh, on your urethra. Yeah. Done. Put some apricot jam on it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> a nice mango chutney and a piece of like port wine cheese. <laughs> Honey. How's that is pop music. <laughs> rah, 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 rah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. I uh, uh, But one of the best parts of the VMAs, uh, Katy Perry, who yeah. loves clean dishes mm -hmm. uh, and loves to give away beaches yeah. when they are clean. Um, the, d the dishes, not the, the dishes. Right. But I'm sure... The D as well. But uh, she is getting the Vanguard Award. Oh, wow. She got the Vanguard Award this year. It's being given to her. Can I also say that that also makes me feel old? Yeah. The fact that, like, it's a Lifetime Achievement Award for vi video music. So she's that old that we're like, fuck. Well, God, I don't know. It. I know. I don't know if it's that she's that old. She's just kind of one of those artists that kind of had the last of the music videos. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's you know what I mean? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't no. know where you can watch them anymore. I went bowling and there was a Chapel Run music video playing and I was like, she has a music video? Well, I did watch Sabrina Carpenter's new video and that is with Jenna, uh, Jenna, is it Ortega? Yeah. Ortega. Uh, Ortega. Yeah. Uh, another, you know, I'm a Latina who absolutely terrified of I and <laughs> she's, they're fucking gorgeous and it's I know. such a good video. Well, you know what the, what it's all about, right? Oh, it's about um, the, uh, whatchamacallit? Death uh, Becomes Her. Death well, Becomes the, Her, yeah. yes, the movie. It's like an homage to all the, like, great, like, murder, you but know, like... I thought like... the song was about Camila Cabello. <gasps> That's what I, I had heard, I saw on the talks. That, because I guess a... it was about Shawn Mendes. Because, you know, like, I know, I know, honey, come honey. on, why are we writing songs honey. about Shawn? Honey. <laughs> honey. 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 Shawn Mendes used to come out with a song called Honey. honey. Yeah. God. I, very hot, though. So hot. I would, I would, I would sit on his face, I'd let him sit on mine, but he, I know he's he was... not into me. Well... Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, he <laughs> is at my gym. Oh. Okay. And goes into the sauna. And I'm afraid. And we know, I'm not going to say what gym you go to, but I already know what gym you're at mm -hmm. because I know about that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Because I feel like, do you remember, you know in like every horror movie when like the young girl like pricks her finger and there's a little bit of blood and the yeah. vampire sees it and he's like, huh. Like yeah. that would be me <laughs> to Sean Mendez. Like if I saw him walking into like the sauna, I'd be like, yeah, you, ah! yeah, just that's lose it. your mind. Your just, fangs yeah. come out. Pupils the whole, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. how I would be for who's like my real daddy that I want to. Oh, Jason Momoa from oh. Drago from Game of Thrones. And I was actually on a flight with him once. And it I I texted my husband. I said, this is it. Like, I'm getting, Bye. you know, Air Marshal John's about to taste me. <laughs> and But he's really, like, he dresses very, like, ethereal. Yeah. He's grungy, he's mm -hmm. hippie. And it was not what I expected. I needed him in a tux. But he's very hot, very sexy. He's still, like, very Gorgeous. hot. Yeah. yeah. I and feel I, like everybody also has, like, a Jason Momoa story. He's, like, he's always just out and about. He's out and about. And yeah. I hear he's lovely. I yeah. have I've never heard a bad word about him. No. Okay, great. Never, so never. that's who I would absolutely just destroy <laughs> sexually. <laughs> oh my God. Too much we just met. And I'm literally like, I would literally lick his grundle. Hell yeah. Uh, this is why you're America's favorite Heather. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. Honestly, I better fucking be America's favorite You Heather. are. Are you Thank kidding you. me? Back to the VMAs, how they are, um, they're giving an award out for the most iconic performance okay. of the VMAs in all of history. And who do, who is that going to? We don't, we don't well, know. We don't know yet. But okay. the nominees are kind of like Britney, Madonna. I would think it would go to Britney. To me, the snake, the all of it, I think she has had more iconic moments, whether good or bad. Yeah. On the VMAs than anybody. Yeah, a lot. And I think the actual the other one was like Nicki Minaj levitating. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. For <laughs> Roman Empire. Pink or, always yeah. just uh, doing some trapeze act. She's always Pink. flipping. Pink's always she's flipping. always fucking flipping. I was touring in Australia in um in February, and mm -hmm. it was the Eras tour was going on, and Pink's tour. Did you know that Pink like makes all of her money because she just goes to Australia, and for two months Flip. she will t she flips, she twirls, she's doing the acrobatics, she's doing the Cirque du Soleil, and she makes all of her monies. She did like fifteen sold out nights in stadiums in Sydney, Australia. And all the Aussies are like, oh, don't you love pink? You love pink? And I'm like, I like pink, but like, I haven't been to a show. Yeah. They eat her up. They of fucking course. eat her up over there. I know. That's always good, though. Yeah, I love, I love that. that. I do, too. And, um, but I'm going to say, I'm going to, 
I don't think uh, Madonna's Vogue was nominated with, with oh, when they, she came out in the like you know yeah. uh, dangerous liaisons and like that was such that a, was that's a crime if she I wasn't know. nominated. I want Britney to win. I do too. But you know what's going to kill me? What? Britney's not here to here accept her. Oh. oh no, no! I want her there. <laughs> I want her there. I, I want, want her to come out in the same like rolled up Sophie shorts that she's wearing right now, mm -hmm. and the extensions and the smoky eye that looks like it's just been she's been rolling around on her couch. Like I need the look. Mm -hmm. I need her to come out and do the twirl and all of that. I need her. I, I want her back. I want to just take her to a cheesecake factory somewhere in the valley and be like, let's sit down and kiki. Like what the fuck is going on? I know. Like, no, I'm stressed. I, it's very very stressful, and you. Just, just want to go, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Also, it really bugs me when people, whether you're nominated for an Oscar, Tony, whatever, and they, you're not there, you're not able to accept the award, period. I don't mm -hmm. care if you're on set doing Star Wars fucking 15. Yeah. You beat me up, Scotty. I'm fucking there. Or give me like give me like a, a good teleprompter. Yes. Like if you're busy, just say hi. Hi. Say I hi. I hate it when they're like, mm, no. No, I think if they can't make it, you don't get the award. Yeah. Sorry. Unless you're I, like Maggie Smith. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Who's, who can, who, who cares? cannot travel? Yeah, she yeah. can't travel. Put her on the Queen Mary though. She'll come come abroad. Like no, because if she passes away on there, she'll haunt it forever. That's true. But Great I'd be haunted by Maggie Smith on the Queen heartbeat. Mary. She's from Downton Abbey, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. She's yeah. From Harry Potter, Downton Abbey, mm -hmm. all of them. The cr the uh, uh, the crime of Miss Jean Brody. Uh, oh, early one of the best. God. Um. Let's see. <laughs> Sabrina Carpenter actually yeah. has just dethroned Taylor Swift. From the uh, Heartbreaker, what is it? The Lonely Heartbreaker Club. What is there, her new album? Oh, oh the Torture Poet. The torture <laughs> oh, I was like, what? I don't know. The it's Lonely hot, Heartbreaker. My brain is no, it's mush. fine. I'm honestly, I, I apologize because I feel actually brain dead. Like I feel like today my mouth has been moving and the synapse and the hippocampus. It's not nothing's firing. Wait, can you, know you know say hippocampus? Hippa one more time? Hippocampus. Thank my you. hippocampus is turned off. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she. What? what wait. What did she? She surpassed her in the charts. Uh, Sabrina has now taken over uh, the Taylor Swift number one spot. Like Taylor was like running yeah. rampant with the the with the number ones. <laughs> <laughs> I want to call it the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> The Haunted Mansion, yeah, Torture Haunted Mansion. Poets okay, but like, Society. <laughs> this makes sense, though. The, yeah. the new album came out. Uh -huh. It's incredible. Sabrina opened for Taylor on the road. She so did. all of Taylor's fans are going to di be dialed into Sabrina. So what are we worried about? I know, I know. Um, I do, I do. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about it. I want to talk about it. Yeah, let's get in. The Taylor endorsement. Whoo! I got horny for it. I did too. I got really excited. I know. And I have to be a little more nicer now. Yeah. I do have to be. I'm not a big Swifty. I, I, I'm I not get a big it. one either, but I, I think it's because I don't know how old you are, but I feel like our generation, like I miss the crying in the room alone to Taylor Swift. When I was in it, listening to breakup music, oh. it was fucking juvenile, three, six mafia. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I was like gang banging. Three, you know what I mean? Six <laughs> yeah, three, six mafia. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I was in the I South. I was like Tony Braxton. Oh, like, yeah, no. Um, break my like that was me. No, I was literally like brah, 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 <laughs> like doing drive bys. That's what I was doing. Um, I did. I never connected to that that early version of Taylor, but I yeah. just saw the Eras tour in London and it was phenomenal. I'm sure it was all great. three days worth of yeah, it. Right? It was, it was a lot. It was like a six and a half hour show. I've got sciatica. My leg was numb half the show. I was like, okay, we got to wrap it up. Well, it's just so interesting because like you know, the debate happened and, you know, we're like, okay, that yeah. was great. And then all of a sudden, just like Taylor. Uh-huh. Drop Drop. It. Drop. And, and the childless cat lady, little salutation. Oh, yeah. Chef's kiss. Yeah. Apricot yeah. jam. Right Apricot now. jam. Right here. Mango chutney. I right know. on my cooter. I was like, shit! And yeah. everyone lost it because I was waiting. I was like, are one of these girlies going to step up and yeah. be like, come on. I was waiting like, like, come on, Chapel. Come on, like, Sabrina. And I was like, come on, girls. I'm hoping it's a waterfall effect now. I, I really just, hope so. Please, but God. It was so, it was, it was so good. And of course, now, uh, <laughs> all they really have now is like, Fuck Taylor Swift. And I'm like, oh, yeah. really? Now really? that's what we're doing? We're doing that now? I'm more of a Brittany Mahomes fan. A, uh, a, a, a football wife? Yeah, they have Kid Rock. That's who they have. It's just Kid Rock. It makes yeah. no sense. But it makes no sense. But I, I, it is interesting that everyone's like, Taylor cannot be friends with Brittany Mahomes. Like, that's over because she liked a Trump tweet. I'm like, of course half these fucking wags are Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. She's still got to be nice. She's mm -hmm. got to play the fucking wag game. Like, but it is what it is. So interesting where it's like, and that's why I kind of like stay out of politics as much yeah. as I can. But I feel yeah. like we have to like kind of speak about it because, hey, it's happening. It's happening. And I just feel like, uh, 
you know, you have like these Megan Kellys and these these yeah. these grown grown people, yeah, trashing this like superstar that has has like really saved the economy, yeah, truly. Um, and it just it just makes me laugh because I'm just like, who cares? Do you mean like was she just not supposed to vote? Yeah, it's, it's so it's so fascinating. It's to also me. made me sad. Obviously, Megyn Kelly is like a huge conservative, but she used to actually kind of be cool, be cool, like right, like before she had the talk show. This is was the downfall yes, of her. Yes, she went from actually doing like hard hitting news, yeah. and I felt like maybe I'm fucking delusional, but I felt like for a minute she was the only like kind of voice of reason over at Fox. Like yes. she would have like a sensible take, and then when she tried to start interviewing housewives, I was like, honey, yeah, of yeah. course this is going down. And, she, and then it was just downhill from there. It was just crazy. Well, it went downhill like that first episode of her talk show where she yeah. was like, my favorite Halloween costume was in, in blackface. blackface. And we were like, no! <laughs> God, Megan! Also, what are like, you doing? You're an attorney. You have all these... Oh, things. You're so idiot. incredibly intelligent. And God. how did we think? Yeah, she tried to justify, yeah, she's justify like, no, what blackface. I was. I'm like... <laughs> oh, Megan. God. Anyways, yeah. I, <sighs> uh, just all of it. If I feel like, too, if you're like a woman now and you... You're not behind. Mm -hmm. Kamala, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? I get it. Well, um, it's crazy because, you know, we're getting into these, like, award shows, VMAs. Yeah. You have the CMAs, all that kind of stuff. Did you hear about the big CMA controversy? What happened? Well. Enlighten me. Beyonce was snubbed. <gasps> yeah, I did hear about that. For the CMA award. Mm -hmm. Um... Which, but she did come out and say that her album wasn't necessarily a country album. I feel like I saw that on like Coda and Jenna or something. It kind of makes sense because there really are like, I mean, she covered Jolene. You yeah. know what I mean? And I don't think she gives a fuck about the CMA. She, she wants a does Grammy. Not she, she just wants a Grammy. The most yeah. awarded Grammy award winner of all time. Yeah. Do you think she needs a TGI Fridays statuette? <laughs> Can you see? Does she need the Lifetime Applebee's Achievement Award? She doesn't. What is she going to do? Hang out with Jelly Roll backstage? And I at love the mothership. It. At the mothership, I <laughs> love Jelly Roll, but like, you know what I mean? It's Beyonce. Beyonce is carried into these award shows on the 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 wings of angels. She's not going to be hanging out with that like that like TikTok yodeler kid who's like, <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> like Morgan Wallen. Yeah, the bag, yeah, yeah. Just like dipping. Yeah. Like, it's Beyonce. Ugh. Let's let's have some respect. So I actually think it's pretty respectful. I'm dying. Is. I'm sighing down in the way. Come on over here. Oh, I hate yeah. the shit. Oh. It's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm from, I live in the South. Yes. Yeah, and I'm married to a Yankee. And it is so funny because my husband loves country music. Okay. My husband is born and raised in New York City. We bought a house in Mississippi, which is like where I went to school at University of Mississippi. Mm -hmm. It's a great little town. So we bought a uh, rental property there. We were there two weekends ago and he's driving home. I bought him a Tahoe. My, big daddy, my very New York Italian husband's driving in like a college t-shirt. He's got a zen in his lip. We're listening to Morgan Wallen radio and he's driving his white uh, big Tahoe. And I looked over and I was like, who the fuck is this? He's like, I love the South, baby. And I'm like, I don't know who the fuck this is. And I'm Southern and I don't listen to country music. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I just went on a tangent. But about kind of that. a but I feel like kind of a turn on, right? But, but also, like, I absolutely gave him roadhead. So. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> With your own little zoom. With my own little zen, I was like, I'm feeling frisky. The nicotine just kicked in. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah. of course the internet blew up because they were like, oh my God, Beyonce was not nominated. And uh, Whoopi Goldberg says that uh, Cowboy Carter was snubbed because it wasn't for them. Oh. So. Okay. I'll read a little more of this article. Whoopi has attempted to lasso fan expectations when it comes to Beyonce's country music crossover. The View moderator and Oscar-winning actress said she doesn't feel the CMAs were snubbed, uh, snubbed the former De uh, Destiny's Child superstar when it bestowed the Cowboy Carter album with zero nominations earlier this week. Now, remember that the album was number one on the country music charts when it came out. Oh, okay. Well, that's a fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Good to know. She says, a lot of people are surprised. I don't know why that it didn't receive a single CMA award nomination. Well, this is the question. Are you surprised? Uh, she said that I don't think she was snubbed. I think they just didn't. It wasn't for them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. We're two white people from Texas and Georgia. Can mm -hmm. we chime in here? I don't know. <laughs> you know? I, here's the thing. At the end of the day. It was for me. Sure. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it, but I'm kind of like, she didn't need it. 
Yeah. I, what, again, like... The whole album? Yeah. She doesn't need a CMA award. She doesn't need a CMA award. And I wonder, and I'm like, what, I love Post Malone. I'm one of his biggest fans. But even I'm like, Beyonce, why are we doing things with Post but I, Malone? But I will play devil's advocate yeah. here because there is, like, Darius Rucker went from Hootie and the Blowfish, and now he is like a full-blown yeah. country singer as well, embraced by country music. I don't know. I don't think it was like a race issue. I think it's because people see her as Beyonce, yeah, she's I, she's a pop icon. Yeah, she is a star. Yeah, so they're like, no, you stay in your lane over there. You're doing all right. Yeah, you know, we got we got jelly rolling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, but then like with Shabuzi, were any of those guys nominated? Oh yeah, I don't know if Shabuzi is it. Was Kane nominated. Brown, Kane Brown, I also believe. Yeah, there's like a yeah. whole. But I mean, it's like when when people say shit like this, I'm just kind of like, oh. yeah. It also, Whoopi's high all the time on the View. She's, she really, she is. really you is. You have to be high on the View. You have to. You have to you be have high to be on the View. Baked. I hope Joy just, Behar is just baking baked. brownies. <laughs> just baking those Italian ragu brownies. She's also just like, like Joy, God, let it go. go. I know. Just I go, know. go to the Hamptons and lie down. Yeah, put on some white linen and yeah. call it a day. Call it a day. God, have a, whatever, Caparina, what do they drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Caparina. Can you imagine Joy Behar, her number one drink is Caparina. Capar or like a yeah. nice like peach Pisco sangria. Yeah, or a Pisco sour. Ooh. Ooh, I'm ready for a cocktail. Ooh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Can we get cocktails? No? Yeah, Got it. Great, great. Um, okay, so moving on, we have... Okay, Madonna. Now, the story broke with Dave Grohl. Did you hear I this? I heard this yesterday, yeah. and I audibly gasped. I went, <gasps> I really? clutched my pearls. I was upset about... Um, oh, wait, wait, which one is this? Well, this one, uh, so Dave Grohl, last week, he oh, said that he... this is a different he, story. Yeah, okay. this totally different story. So he was like, I... Had a child outside of wedlock. Now it appears that he called his wife or ex-wife. I don't know what it is uh -huh. now. Like, and broke up with her over the phone. Like, like. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I didn't hear minutes. that. I just gasped with the fact that he, the. the that he's like, the, I have a kid. That he has a kid. And the quote just came out that he's going to like be a great parent and raise a child. But he was like, I had a, I had a child. I had a kid. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, this is just. Madonna has to find her way in. And I, I'm kind of here for it. Also, this photo of her is just... Oh, Madonna is shut in the, fuck up. the love child scandal. Uh -huh, of course she is. And uh, let's just read a little bit more mm -hmm. about it. So Dave Grohl has admitted to cheating on his wife and fathering a secret love child. And now Radar Online can reveal that Madonna has been dragged into the scandal after an interview with the Foo Fighters frontman's mother resurfaced amid the controversy. <laughs> Virginia Grohl. Not Virginia, Virginia Grohl. Not Virginia Grohl. Virginia Grohl. Oh, Virginia Grohl. You mean that town hussy's <laughs> at it again? With her foo fada. Her foo foo fada. Oh, Virginia uh, and the foo foos. Well, she died in 2022. Oh, okay. Rest in peace, Virginia. Yeah. So sorry about so. that. We love you, Virginia. Thinking of you. You know what we'll never do? Meet Virginia. Meet Aww. Virginia train. Another great, great band. So was that them? Was that yes, train? Train. That train? Good for you. Great. Uh, she said in 2017, I did worry about women with uh with Dave growing up. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. But my biggest fear was that Madonna would snatch him up. Did Dave respond to this? Well, Gro Grohl's mother also discussed her superstar son during her sit down with the Guardian seven years ago. She called him the nicest man in rock, steady husband, super dad. Uh, she said he makes their breakfast, packs their lunch, goes to the studio. Great dad all around. But her remarks about Madonna resurfaced after the former Nirvana drummer announced he has welcomed a baby daughter. So I think that's just pretty much what it is. I mean, did your were your parents ever afraid of you if you got like famous? They're like, oh God, I just hope she's not, you know, into Tommy Lee or no, you know, <laughs> never because my type was you know sick, sickeningly just like my father. My husband looks just like my dad. Full, oh, sort of weird daddy complex, and I had a great relationship with my late father. But no, my parents were never worried about me going for like a heroin chic rock star. I mean, I'm a woman who's five ten with the shoulders of a fucking offensive lineman. I'm not going for a thin man who's doing cocaine every night. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No. My my parents were never really worried. I mean, my dad was always worried about the industry in general. Mm -hmm. Just like, I trust no one in this fucking biz. Of course. But no, they they were never worried about me coming home with the wrong guy. Uh, but I would just... How about your parents? I mean, not really, but yeah. I feel like it's like when I came out, I feel like I would have loved my mom uh -huh. to be like, no, when you get to LA, you, you better watch out for Ricky Martin. Legs. Ricky yeah. Martin's <laughs> out there. <laughs> And he's gonna find you one day, and I would be like, "Mom, no, yeah. stop it, never." Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, do you really want it? Yeah, like that. That would be <laughs> truly. 
Really? No, I, I oh. actually, honestly, now that I think about it, I feel like they should have worried, and now I'm upset that they never worried. Yeah. That's actually more concerning. You didn't think I had it? You didn't think, you know, the rock stars would throw their panties at me, too? Well, that's what it's always... I, I, I talked to... I, I, um, oh God, I talked to Josh Potter about this last week, where there is that, like stigma with like rock and roll guys yeah. and i do i do think dave Grohl's a nice guy i think he's very sweet very passionate i've never met him but i just assume that because you know i've seen him on uh. stuff but ah uh. did you see that anthony kiedis is dating married to a 19 year old did you know this yeah i know elvis dated a 14 year old i know it's all i it's know <laughs> i know it's how, it, what are we doing here mm. yeah mm -hmm. but also do you think madonna's gonna go for dave Grohl? He's not 22. He's not That's true. He's not like, you know, biracial. That's true. He's like she he's wants He's not some, like one of her adopted children, you she, know. She wants flavor. She does. She, she does want yes. flavor. She lives in like where does Madonna live now? Portugal. She wants like yeah, a Portu nice tax haven over there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Smart smart gal. She wants a Portuguese stew, you she know? She really wants a stew. She wants a a, a nice tapas. I feel like yes. they have a lot of tapas over there. A port wine, that's Ooh, Portugal. yeah. She, yeah. Want, she wants that, Um, what's that, Uh, pa pa paella? Ooh, Ooh, Madonna's paella. Madonna's next album should be just called Paella. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, can we please manifest yeah, that Yeah, let's now manifest immediately? it. Uh -huh. um, well, the secret to a successful marriage is... A little easier than you think because in Hollywood, everyone's, you know, breaking up, dating, hooking up, whatever. Now, here's Jamie Lee Curtis, and she is explaining the secret to her long marriage to Christopher Guest. And she said it's a really good dose of hatred. Oh, so, fair enough. Yeah. She says, well, you just don't leave. She says, I'm also sober for a long time, and we have a phrase in recovery. If you stay on the bus, the scenery will change. And, you know, that's marriage. You stay on the bus, the scenery changes. Like, all of a sudden, you literally want to hate each other. Uh -huh. And then the next day, it's a pretty sunny day, and the dog does something cute, and your child does something cute, and you look at each other, and you're like, oh, gosh. And then you're on another track. Makes sense. It makes sense. Also, I love Jamie Lee Curtis, I and I love too. every press tour that she has been doing in the last, I'd say, two years. Yes. She's really come out of her shell even more. She just says the craziest fucking shit. And doesn't She's care. unhinged, and I, I, I adore her. I, I want to nuzzle in her bosom. Mm -hmm. I want her to be my mother. Mm -hmm. Like, I just really love her. And I am married, and I also agree, that's that. I think that's a healthy marriage. Because you know what? It's There's passion there. People who don't have passion, if, you don't, if I don't hate my husband, yeah. And then 20 minutes later, I'm like, all right, you want to get ice cream or something? Then what are we doing here? I agree. I what agree. What fun is that if it's because, all just happy all the time? And I agree. And I feel like, you know, I get in these, I feel like we all get in these little patches of just like, oh, go, ooh, ah, yeah. ah. but then when you like get away from that person for mm -hmm. a little bit, you're like, hmm, kind of miss you. I know. And it's yeah, the best. It is the best. Um, and also their marriage has just totally worked. And Christopher Guest, I think, is one of the most funny, the best. talented people in Hollywood. I mean, best in show, uh, waiting for in, Guffman. These are my like dream kind of roles. Me too. Because they're character roles. Same. I want to put on a wig. I want to be like an eccentric zookeeper or some shit. Let's that come also up has, with something that together has, like, a lateral and do lift. it. Let's yes. do it. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. I would love nothing more than to just be that weird person in a yeah. movie. Okay, fantastic. Not like long legs where I'm like, hey, happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that shit. No, but I want to do like a little <laughs> character study, but I can leave it when, when I leave it in my trailer. When yeah. I take off the wig, I'm like, let's go get mm. fucking paella. Yeah, you let's know? get paella. Let's get Madonna's papas. like, did yeah. someone say paella? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, so I absolutely love that. Um, but I also want to talk about, um, so going from Jamie Lee Curtis, did you see the interview? Uh, or it was an interview. So she went and saw Pamela Anderson's like new movie, which is called like The Last Showgirl. Yes, and I heard it got like a 45 minute standing ovation. Why are we standing so long? What? Could you what imagine? Could you imagine? Could you imagine going to a movie? They're like, okay, Joaquin Phoenix got a six minute ovation. Such and such got 12 minutes. This is 40 minutes. Like, okay, it's a nice, fantastic it's a good film. Great film, but why are we standing? I'm tired. Like, I don't need to stand 30 minutes for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Oh, no oh. shit. Um, but uh, Jamie Lee Curtis also just won the Creative Arts Emmy oh. for The Bear, which I called. For uh, uh, did you see that? Uh, of course, show? the Christmas episode Ooh, to the me best. is one of the most well written, so good episodes of television ever. So good, and um, yeah, she should get everything. 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 And have you seen the new season? No, not yet. Okay, I'm not giving anything away, but she has a similar, it's kind of a redemption episode. So she's fucking crazy in that one. Oh. But then she has another kind of solo episode in the next season where it starts really fucking crazy, mm -hmm. but you're like, you love her. Mm -hmm. You love her. It's and, great. And, and she's amazing. So, I mean, you're now like Miss Red Carpet at the Emmys, right? 
I guess they brought me back. I know. I'm not fired yet. And how, how is it? Li- what is it like? Can I tell you? It's the hardest job I've ever had. Of course. It is the amount of prep, the amount of work, the amount of studying. Because you have to know, not only are you like interviewing your peers, mm-hmm. you know, but you're also, I'm like, I have these, at these gigs I auditioned for and I never heard back. So I'm like, yeah. oh, interesting. You're nominated. <laughs> um, you look great. You look great. Oh, you're small. <laughs> I see they went with the petite blonde. Okay. Not bitter at all. Um, it's like you have a stack of cards this big. Uh It's so out of body because you're standing on your little cube and you've got producers yelling in, you've got an in-ear and it's live television and you're trying to, you have to know the project they did before, how their audition went, what happened in the show, what their next project is. And then you got publicists screaming. I mean, it is really like the, the wildest three hours of my life. And are you just like researching at night and like going over things? Yeah, they have fantastic producers that give you so many facts, but you know, there's also the publicists will come up and be like, don't ask this, don't ask that. And so I'm like, I'm not a journalist. I'm a fucking stand up. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I don't know. What do you yeah. want me to ask? But it is really fun. And then the parties are fucking fabulous. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking forward to this time around? Um, well, actually, I do get to talk to everybody from the bear and hacks. So I'm hoping that I get Jamie Lee Curtis just <gasps> to roll through. Just tell I said hi. I will. I will tell you said hi. <laughs> um, I might just like motorboater. I just love her so you much. You have to. I have to. Um, no, I, I'm excited. There's a lot of really, and like the uh, the morning show. Uh-huh. So it's going to be like creme de la creme. A-list, I know. A list. The category. The categories this year and the nominees are really like something Elite. else. They really, really mm-hmm. are. And I just think it's going to be great with Dan and Eugene hosting. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be, I think it's going to be really, really fun. Um, has there any, What what's the most nervous and which celebrity have you just been like, Ugh! like when you see them, you're like, yeah. oh, shit, I got to talk to so-and-so. Um, and who are you looking forward to talking to? I'll tell you who's the nicest person I've ever met in my entire life. Uh, Winkler. Just next level, just Henry li- Winkler, literally the nicest guy you've ever met. I, I call him Daddy him. Winkler. Really? You do mm-hmm. he was so nice? Was he nice to you or no? Well, oh fuck, <laughs> oh fuck, no, 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 no. He no, was no. so kind. I was like, wow, wow. So COVID just happened. Okay, right oh, here we go. So COVID just happened, and it was raining, mm. and like everyone's freaking out. There's no yeah. toilet paper anywhere. So me and my friend Denise went over the hill, okay. over the hill. Oh, we don't to go, the CVS yeah. in like. Studio, Studio City, City. Yeah. yes. Oh, uh, uh, to scourge for toilet paper. Uh-huh. We have our masks on. We're wearing like gloves. We don't know what is real anymore. Right, right. Obviously, the good old days. Right. <laughs> and uh, so we go inside and we grab toilet paper. That's like seventeen dollars. We're not. It, we're not at Irwan. We're at CVS. Right. Um. And we got the toilet paper and we're in line. Who's in front of us? Henry Winkler. Yeah. And he's Daddy checking Winkler. out. And we're like, oh my god, that's that's Henry Winkler. It's the Fonz, right? And so. So he is just taking his time, uh-huh. taking his time. And we're like, we have to get out of here. We're being contaminated, right? right. And then a moment goes by, goes, oh, I forgot my chocolate bar. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene of and Mr. He, Bean, like in Love Actually, where yeah. he's like, just keeps adding things to the box at the store. So yeah. He, he leaves to go get his chocolate bar. And I'm just like, no. Oh. Uh-huh. But very, very, yeah, very sweet. He, it wasn't anything like mean or anything. But I was like, get the fucking chocolate Get the fucker tackle yeah. Let's roll. Um, <laughs> he was amazing, and I mean, I also called a lot of things. Like I knew Nisi Nash. Uh, I think her uh, last name's Betts. Mm-hmm. I knew she was going to win. I told her, I said, you're going to win. And I kind of- yeah, yeah. And I have my predictions and I feel like anybody who gets an interview with me, you're going to win. Oh, I'm just going to say, I, put the, I, I, I interview a lot of winners. Oh. Yeah. Gamble on Heather. Gamble on me. Oh, yeah. that's always good. If Heather's talking to them, they're going to win. win. Ooh, I have good that's juju. Fun. I, just, I, I put out good vibes. Um, what about uh, Carol Burnett? If I got to meet her. So she, Joan Rivers is the reason I got into comedy. And when sure, I got to too. meet Joan, that was like the pe- most pinnacle moment of my life. If I also got to meet Carol Burnett, I would just literally flatline, hit the deck. That's it. There's nothing else to live for. Those I, are the icons. Those are the legends for me. I met Carol Burnett. <gasps> yeah. It was... So out of body. Yeah. And I think you're going to meet her. I have this like weird feeling that you're going to meet her. She's nominated for Palm Royale. Yeah. And um, when I met her, I was going in for like this Netflix pilot with Carol Burnett. It was kind of like a kid say the strangest things kind of a show. And it got down to me and um, Russell Peters. They went for that skinny, tiny blonde again. Oh, God. And um, (laughs) I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. fine. Everything's great. We love it. We love it so much. But it was, I got to spend like the day with Carol Burnett. It was crazy. And she was so great. Ah, and she's just so small and so petite and so friendly. And like at the end of it, I was like, well, 
Bye. Mm-hmm. And I I wanted a picture so bad, but I didn't want to be that person. Yeah. Could you at least get like a loose tissue? Because you know she's older. I'm sure there's a lot of runny noses. I would have been like gone in her trash in her trailer and be like, let me like get a Q-tip? Little, little Q-tip. Just, just a, something. a Vaseline Q-tip. A Vaseline, Q-tip. Vaseline, anything. I know, I know. I played a theater after her on tour and um, literally I was uh, coming out, they're like changing my marquee and they were putting her up and I was like, Can I, I gotta go back uh, in and leave her a note. And I left her a note and I never heard anything, but I left her a note and I said, you're literally one of the reasons why I got into comedy. Please. I love like, those moments. Yeah. yeah, truly, like, I adore oh, her. It, it's funny, like, a lot of the guys, well, it's different. Okay, for the Emmys, they're all TV actors. Mm-hmm. They're actors. They know how to do press. They know how to be do PR. They know what they're doing. When I do the Grammys red carpet, it is so funny because they're all musicians. They're yeah. all fucked up. Yeah. You never know what they're on. They're like, uh, just, like, super fucking high. They don't even know they're in a band yeah, half have, the time. They have no idea. They're like, yeah. the band broke up. We don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm nominated. Yeah. So that's always funny because the Grammys is night and day from dealing with actors. It really is. It's it's a wild ride. But it's fun. Oh, God. it's You're going to have a blast. I hope so. I hope um, it's just, I hope it's cool. I hope I don't pass out. No, you're going to be great. Okay. The temperatures, the fall is in the air. It's coming. It's, yeah, coming. it's coming. What are you watching now? Ooh, okay. Well, I just went on a reality binge. I okay. did Love Island US. Okay. I'm the, not on the I'm not it's on the fine. Island. It's great. Okay. Um, I did Love is Blind UK, which was fucking phenomenal. Okay. Really was into that. What else am I watching right now? Oh, well, I've started, I'm I'm kind of refreshing some shows. I just started watching Veep again for the six oh, hundredth time. Is great. It's great and it's so topical now. Uh-huh. It's just I'm I'm that is my favorite show of all time. So I've been re-watching that. What else am I watching? I, I, I'm behind. Okay. Okay, update me. What are you watching? What are we doing? Well, I just did The Perfect Couple. Yeah. I, I've just started it. I, I don't know how I feel. Hang on. Okay. Because I think it's it's the best, like, oh, no, what are we doing? Yeah. Because it's like this murder mystery. Of course. But then it kind of turns. Do you remember the show Revenge on ABC? Of course. Yeah, it turns into like that. Ooh. And every break or every episode, they did a dance number for the credits. I don't know if you've seen this. I've seen it all over TikTok. Anything yeah. that feels this good. <laughs> well, it must be criminal. And they all are just like, I want a montage flash mob moment just once. It's I, it. It's so my good. My mom threatened to do a flash mob at my wedding. But what? Yeah. Yeah, she, oh, that's that. My wedding was my mom's wedding. Yeah, she, all she wanted to do was a flash mob, and she kept telling me, "I was like, Mom, do the flash mob." But you, you know, it's not just spontaneous dance; it's actually rehearsed, choreographed number. And yeah. she's like, "Oh, then I'm tired." No, I just thought it was like we all spontaneously, you know, break out into song. <laughs> just get up. Yeah, and- just start moving. I was like, "No, Mom, it's actually it's rehearsed. choreographed." Yeah. moment. But I- yeah. So she got over that quick. That's great, but it's mm-hmm. it's it's really fun. And then Selling Sunset for sure. Selling Sunset. Oh, selling oh my Sunset's God. new season. It exhausts me so much. Though it should. It should. It, and it does. And it's like they're not selling the homes. They're not selling the homes. They're selling looks, like brands, like hair extensions. No, none of these women. By the way, none of these women on Selling Sunset. Sell the sunset. Sell the sunset. <laughs> or do women in LA have those hairstyles? No. None of none it's, of them. It's 2005, it. right? It's, Wouldn't you say? Nobody yeah. has that look. We've softened it. We're doing more of a Haley Bieber soft glam. And Emma, Emma on Selling Sunset had a full on like Marie Antoinette yeah, like bun no. with a bow in it. I was like, what is this day terror? Yeah, I did a charity thing with Netflix and I played golf with one of the twin guys. And I was just like, oh God, it was a lot. I can't even remember which brother. Tiny. And still like parties, you know? He's like, yeah, I was at a party last week. You know, it was like fucking crazy. I'm exhausted. I was partying all weekend. I was like, dude, I think shut the fuck up. I think that was Jojo Siwa. <laughs> 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 I mean, I know gosh, that voice. Gosh. I know that voice. That was Jojo. <laughs> Jojo. Let's talk about Jojo. Can I read lip gloss yeah, while we're on the camera? Yeah. Jojo. <laughs> fucking Jojo. First of all, I'm obsessed with these videos going around of Abby Lee Miller where she's just screaming at people in New York City. Have you seen these? Um, She's scooting around and the rascal just, move out of my way, like taking down people, clipping them at the ankle, doesn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. But Jojo Siwa, what a... You know, I just auditioned this summer to play um, uh, Anna Nicole Smith. But if I if I ever got uh, JoJo Siwa across my, you know, later on, like it's just sad, lonely JoJo, I would love to play that. That's a dream role. A sad, lonely JoJo, jo- like I'm her obviously, grown up. Yeah, I'm obviously very way older than her, but I would just love that. Are you? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. She's kind of one of those people too. Is she 15? Is she 65? I don't know. We don't know. Jojo, show yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Reveal yourself. (laughs) Will she be at the Emmys? Because I just feel like she she would just be like, hey, God. Oh, God. And then pull up with the car that says Jojo all over it. With the Yeah, it's a lot. Well, we want to get into some of the best and the worst dressed celebrities of the red carpet so far. This was the Creative uh, Art Emmy Awards that took place uh, last week. Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett, finally. So fucking hot. Finally. Finally. Finally, finally. finally. I got an award. 
Finally. She's she, stunning. Beautiful. So stunning. Uh, here we have Parker Posey. I am the biggest <clears throat> Parker Posey Me too. fan. I think she can do no wrong. I mean, she can pull off anything cool and quirky, though. I agree. It's one of those, like... I don't love it, but I think I love it for her. I love it for her because it's also, like, this could be wallpaper. This mm -hmm. could be couture. But whatever it is, it's Parker Posey. It's Parker Posey. You know what I mean? It's like, Absolutely. you want to wear that? Sure. Great. I think if anybody else wore this, they'd be like, ooh. Mm -hmm. So I think it looks great. Are they saying it's terrible? Also, I think that's Oscar de la Renta. Yeah, she could. You're welcome. Mm. Uh, oh, this is Philippa Sue. Philippa Sue. Stunning. I mean, the orphanage. She's from Hamilton. Oh, you're not a Hamilton. It's okay. It's okay. You're not a musical theater. Okay. Okay. It's all right. She is incredible, <laughs> but I'm obsessed. With, I'm obsessed. As I just yeah. like implode. I'm just, here's the thing. I'm obsessed with her at the end of Hamilton where she just starts screaming. It's like a lights on her and she's like, the orphanage. It's the, the saddest, most beautiful song. And yeah. I, I just will randomly be in my house and just start screaming the orphanage. And my husband's like, shut the fuck up. I watched Hamilton on Disney plus. Of course. And I never got into the like the, yeah. oh my God, Hamilton. I saw it nine times or whatever. And then I watched it on Disney plus and it was just like, work, work. Yeah. Angelica, that's the only thing I know. The yeah. only the Skyler sisters, <laughs> Angelica, work. Yeah, yeah, that's all I know. She um, looks beautiful. Ooh, here we Who go. This? I don't know. Aria Mia Loberti. Ooh, um, Chabella. I don't know what this is. I gotta be honest with you. The shape is gorgeous on her. Yeah. Uh, the print pattern, it, it's giving Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. It's giving like SLS Hotel. Or right, or no, the, the hotel next door, the Andaz. Andaz. It's giving Andaz. Right? A little bit. It's I feel like they have a totally chair in the front. Giving Andaz, Andaz. Lobby. Jonathan Adler <laughs> furniture. Andaz yes, Lobby. Andaz Lobby. <laughs> Yeah, like there's a, a rhino head yes. on the wall. There's a disco ball yes. that's like, yeah, smashed. Shag purple carpet. Yeah. Yes, yep, it's yep, It's giving yep. W yes. Hollywood. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Don't God, love that. nailed that. God, yeah. are we going to start a fashion show right here? Can I be honest with you? We should. <laughs> we absolutely. Can take a pitch out? Great. I'm here Let's for like three out. more days. Let's, Let's pitch, pitch it out. out. Um, here's Desi uh, Lydic. Right. She's from the um, Daily Show. She's fantastic. Oh, that's her? Wow. And she, it, it's so different. Because she's always in like a different. nice suit, you know, dressed yeah, up. Yeah, like, this is like glam for her. I don't. How she's are... beautiful. I actually think that dress looks gorgeous on her. And she's one of those real thin bitches just mm -hmm. with like no titty. It's giving that, Medusa on Ozempic. It's giving Medusa on Ozempic, which is my <laughs> absolute goal. Eight. I love it. Yeah. Right now I am Ursula on Ozempic, <laughs> but I would like to be giving Medusa on Ozempic. Oh, you're, it's it's uh, uh, Ursula on Manjaro. Oh, Ursula on Medusa. Manjaro. On a uh -huh. like also like um, I love a, just a skinny snake. You I know do. what I mean? And I and I see these girlies when I see them on the red carpet. You want to hate them, but I'm like, you're just so thin and you're stunning so and gorgeous and, and ethereal. You can just go, <gasps> and they just fly away. Good for them. Uh, Sophie Skelton, an another thin, gal. classic, gorge, gorgeous. I love anybody who can do the middle part like that, the slick back look. I got a bad cow look, so that's not my journey. It's just really good. Yeah, she looks great. Let's see. Uh, oh, Wendy so, McClendon Covey. W Wendy, Mc Wendy is one of my favorite actresses of yes, all time. Agreed. Another incredible Hilarious. character actor. Don't love this. Here's the thing. Hit me with it. I love this outfit. Mm -hmm. The hair is, is giving me like some weird like... Betty Boop. Yeah, it's like some like vintage pin up like but didn't make it but yeah. she always wanted to be a starlet like I that be a, i want to be on the broadway yeah she yes. didn't make it i just want to be one of those girls those yeah. dancing girls yeah <laughs> she has the sponge rollers smoking a cigarette being like daddy let me tap dance for you well what are you gonna do for me <laughs> yeah like that yeah that kind uh -huh. of <laughs> yeah it's not it's not it mm -mm. <laughs> And she's great. Um, uh, uh, this is Harriet Dyer. Again, I am hosting the red carpet. I should know. You should know. This is actually just a quiz. <laughs> this is us. Emily Emily gave us all the looks yeah. for mm -hmm. you to like. And yeah. This is your like test. I've got, I've got three days to study. And okay. Lay you, off me. You can't. Like if she walked up to you, you can't be like, who the fuck's this? Yeah. Like, you can't. You no, gotta, I wouldn't. I'd be okay. like, and who are we wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna do that in real life, even if it's not a carpet. Yeah. And who are we, we wearing? wearing? And they're like, what? what? They're like it's like an old shirt. navy. Lay off. <laughs> if you could just throw that into your everyday life, yeah. you're set. And then just yell, the orphanage. <laughs> just keep rolling. Just keep going. <laughs> who was that insane woman? Oh, that's George's oh. finest, Heather McMahon. Okay, so I can't tell on the bottom. Is that feathers? Is it palm fronds? What is what's the thickness at the bottom? Can you tell? If I had a nickel for every time someone asked me that. Is it pompous grass? I uh, I'm, not, I'm not loving. 
But it's also like- You know what it's giving? What? CB2. Ooh, honey. <laughs> honey, you know what? I, I say it's giving Z Gallery. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, Ooh. it is. Okay, from now on, we just have to explain people's outfits. Yeah. By like, um, you know, <laughs> discount furniture store. Okay. <laughs> Whose rooms to go? Fuck them. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we have. Uh, so I live for her. I am. Obs I'm obsessed with this. I think she is so fucking stunning. You live for her, but I'm yeah. living spaces. Oh, li <laughs> <laughs> this is honestly though, because of the color, the metallic. I'm getting crate and barrel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting crate and barrel. I think it looks good. Oh, oh, Kristen. Okay. Oh, Kristen. this is CB two, honey. This, this is, is CB two. Yeah. 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 Yep. 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 That's yep. all we need. Yep. I do like that color, though. So, uh, Maya, Maya. Maya, this is, okay, this, honestly, I'm going to say something. I'm getting restoration hardware. It is glitter, which is not in their wheelhouse, but I feel like the like a stunning chandelier from restoration hardware. It's the Classic. open air patio at oh, restoration hardware. Fuck, it is. Yep, it's the it's the cafe at restoration hardware. God, which is cafe. only in some like, certain who goes there? Who, who goes, goes there? there? Maya. Yeah. Oh, Garcelle. Gar she is truly, and I've seen her in person. Gorgeous. But like knock out, knock, knock your socks off, fucking gorgeous. Did you do Jeff Lewis with her? Uh, um, I not with her, but okay. I live for her. Yeah. Okay. Also giving restoration hardware, mm -hmm. chic, rich, minimal, just stunning. White shimmer. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, we yep. love her. Um, oh, Ariana. Ariana Maddox. Um, mm. Z Gallery. Z Gallery too. Or <sighs> oh, oh, I'm gonna. Mm. <laughs> we have a store in Atlanta called the Dump. It's it's oh, the Dump. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, this is Restoration Hardware Outlet. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say like a um, Pier One. Pier One. Pier One. Mm. Yeah. Pier, Pier One. one back to school Labor Day sale. Yeah. Okay, this is Angela Bassett is giving Christ furniture. And if you yes. know what that is, yeah. that is on La Cienega, honey. My mom bought a chair. We have literally just a, one chair. We have a chaise lounge from Christ Furniture that okay. is in my office right now. It was a ten thousand dollars chaise lounge. And my mom, every day, every time I call her, I could be like, the whole family's dead. And she's like, just so you know, I gave you a ten thousand dollars chaise lounge from Christ Furniture. That is what Angela Bassett's giving. Yes. Money, that, rich. So uh uh like legacy. Legacy. Mm. Yeah, God, she looks great. She looks great. And oh, uh, Lori, Lori from uh, Shark Lori Tank, from Shark Tank, or Shark Tank in this picture. Yeah, this um, is this is not. This is just. This is um, Talbots. Uh, this is. Mm -hmm. Look at the fucking shoe. Are you kidding me? Uh, Hi, sharks. I'd like to. I'd like to offer a shoe that doesn't fucking suck. You know what that is? It's a Miss Piggy platform. I feel like Miss Piggy always wore those kind of nude around the ankle. Platforms and this, I love Miss Piggy. I've been called that online so many oh, times. Please, this honor is, and a pledge. This is an MPP. Yes, this, this, is, a, this MPP. is definitely an the Miss MPP. Piggy pump. <laughs> the Miss Piggy pump. Yeah, yeah. And this is this is just Jane's Not fabric it. or Joanne's. And Nikki can do no wrong. Oh, I Nikki love her. Looks great. Nikki looks gorgeous. Nikki looks like the Oppenheim Group. This is yeah, definitely yeah. The, the furniture in the Selling Sunset. She was actually on Selling Sunset. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful, stunning. Nikki, I know where you live. Well, yeah, we love you. We love you, girl. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and then we'll end it on that. Yeah, yeah. That All was right. fun. We have some more. We have a couple more stories. I think we just have, um, I think we just had like our pitch deck for our, our fashion show. I'm just saying. Honestly. That's a really good sizzle reel. That is a good sizzle reel. We can reel. tighten it up a little bit. Tighten it up and Take we'll, out the we'll oohs and the ums. Mm -hmm. And I think we've got it. Watch out, E. Watch out. E. I really feel like E needs to like bring back Fashion Police or some sort of show. I did, I hosted a show for them, oh, which was I'm called sorry. What the Fashion. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, with Morgan Stewart. Yeah, it was, so so it was fun. everything. I love Morgan. It was She's great. So iconic. Well, and I I ended up not doing the red carpet for the Oscars, but I was on a fashion panel, mm -hmm. and it was a little tough because it you know it was with people who were just kind of yes man, and I was the only one being like, hey, I'm just gonna throw in an opinion. Yeah, I had to be true to who I was. You have to be true to who you are, and you also have to like be funny and not like mean and like right. It's all. It, it's all coming out of a good place. You know, oh, like, good I place. mean, look at me. I look like I'm at Margaritaville and I can own that. I mean, it's do you fine. know, I the only thing I know how to wear is a cheetah print shirt. It's Ugh. like, get a fucking new look, bitch. <laughs> I am so fucking basic. It's the same hoop. If you got close up, the amount of makeup I have on, it's it's dry, it's crusty. You look great. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I needed love that. Miss Piggy Pump. Thank you. I love Miss Piggy Pump. Oh, that's these, so fun. I know how what, these are. Uh, let me just show them to camera. These are uh, a 12. 
These are a size 12. You were a size 12? No, I wear a 10 and a half, but I got a wide foot and I was in London and my feet were killing me in these Nikes and I went into like Selfridges and I was like, just give me anything that'll fit. fit. But you know, like your feet expand when you've been walking and sizing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they literally were like, we think you need a 12. Wow. <laughs> Rocking a 12. This... Yep. Yep. My feet feel thin today. Oh. I want you to know, usually they're pretty, pretty I love beefy. a good Yeti foot. You me know too. what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, we also are going to break down a category for the Emmys for right. next time. Yeah. Um, I feel like hair is very important. You know, as someone One with of this. Yeah. Um, someone which, who bought these. Yeah, yeah. We know what hair is. Absolutely. Um, one of my things now is when people come for me, people tell you what, that you look like Miss Piggy. Mm -hmm. People say in my comments, nice hair piece. <gasps> No. I know. I know. I'm like, do you think this is fake? I know. People are like, look at those hair plugs. They come from my hair. And it's the one thing that I'm like, oh, you can say anything. You can hurt my body. Don't hurt my face. People think I've got my lips done. Yeah. These are my real lips. Yeah. Let me have the one thing. Just I'll one show thing. you baby photos. I'll show you junior high photos. This is my one good thing. Yeah. Like, let me live. Yeah. My tits are real. My lips are real. Back off. Back off. I'll let you know when I'm getting my neck done. Yeah, leave me some alone. people are real. Some people are real. I know. People are like, this guy needs to lay off the Botox. I wish, bitch. Yeah, I, I wish. wish. I have just harsh features. I ch <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill what's already dead. <laughs> oh, but let's talk about the hair. Yes, this is the hair. Ooh. So this is a category uh, for for the least natural wig on a leading actress. And Nicole Kidman is in a lot of these. So here we have Nicole Kidman in A Family Affair. It's bad. Yeah. And my buddy Ray pointed out the other day, because he was talking about this, like, it, like, she's the producer. Yeah. She gets final say. Yeah. She's also Nicole fucking Kidman. I think she's wigmatized. I, I think, think she is honestly, too. I don't you start think seeing enough of them and you think they're they all look the good. same. Yeah. And you're like, it is real. And you're like, pretty bird. This is pretty great. bird. Yeah. yeah. It's not. Oh my God, Dumb and Dumber. That's yes. the best. Um, but also I think like she takes this wig off and okay. Mm -hmm. So a friend of mine, there's some <laughs> Okay. Okay, just a friend of mine worked in costuming. Okay. And had Nicole Kidman. Mm. And he caught her without the wig on. Oh, he said it wasn't good. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I love you got a high pitch. Do you, Do you remember Angelica Houston and the Witches? Yes. And uh -huh. she says, remove your wig. That was uh -huh. that was Nicole Kidman. It's like, yeah, it, it was like, you know, very, uh, very thick. And I'm not bashing her. Whatever. No, no, no. But, but listen, yeah. also, I'll tell you this. As somebody who she's clearly bleached her hair a long time and I'm yes. on my last thread, threads, it is wild. And I guarantee she was on some set, probably, what was the movie with the Tom Cruise and the thing? Far and Away? No, the- Eyes the, Wide Shut? Uh, Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> they probably bleached her to the fucking oh, gods. Sure. She was stressed, sat under the dryer for too long and it never bounced back. I know, I know. But this wig, though. Yeah, this, this is wig like, is bad. And it, there's, I've seen the- all the other wigs from this, like it's it's a rotation of bad wigs. Yeah, this is what you wear when you're about to be burned as a witch. Uh huh. Honestly, mm -hmm. um, Sarah Paulson, uh, who literally, I'm gonna get country for a second. She can do no wrong. I fucking love her, but that wig is that bad. wig, so that wig. glow. It's yeah. giving you like <laughs> so glow. I mean, Mar <laughs> it's, it's like, giving crunchy Cheeto. It's problematic, is what it is. No, it's, a it's actually blackface. <laughs> it's like that's what it is. The blackface for hair. The blackface for hair. Yeah, yeah. That. But it's not I mean. Great. She won the award, but woo! Yeah. Uh, Lena Headey uh, in Game of Thrones. I mean, she just looks like a little boy. I have that wig. You know what I mean? I wear that sometimes <laughs> when I'm running around. Just bored, doing yeah, when, errands. When I'm bored when doing errands. the errands are doing themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also, it's just very like Joan of Arc. You yeah. know, it's just that like girl who cut her hair with a floby. But it looks, it doesn't look bad. No, it's not bad. But I mean, if like, if I saw that on the street, I'd be like, oh, she's from out of town. Oh, she's definitely from out of town. <laughs> Getting like New Mexico vibes. Yeah. Uh, Nicole Kidman in Big Little Lies. That's now, a good wig. I'm not mad at this one. It's just the aggressive bang. But here's the thing. I think in order to have a good wig, I think you need a little bang. Mm -hmm. Because that's why in the first one, in the, the what is it, the, the affair, her, it looked, it was too matted down here. Yeah. You know, it was too tight. Ooh, See, you need a bang. Yeah. You need yeah. a bang. And I think, you know, that's where the term comes from. More bang for your buck. There you, you know go. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um... Whew. Ooh. This is Dorenda Moore in Charmed. This is an old photo. This is a very yeah. old photo. This is actually me when I see Sean Mendes going to the steam room. <laughs> 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 Same, honey. Same. This is Party City wig. 
<laughs> this is, I got this at CVS, but yes. when I was getting a bag of candy, yes. I forgot. I've got to like show up to my, you know, corporate job and they're having a, you know, Halloween brunch yeah, yeah, or yeah. some shit. Yeah. And this is like where they, on the bag for the costume, they uh -huh. can't say vampire. It's just like blood yeah. sucker. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, okay. Yeah, this is just tragic. This was someone, someone forgot the wig that day uh -huh. and sent the like assistant to go Get to that. Party City and get mm -hmm. that wig. 100%. Uh, we have Mandy Moore in This Is Us. Oh. I love Mandy Moore more than anything in the world. I, do too. I will never, I, she should win. I just want her to win awards because I love her and I won't, even if I'm not, I don't love the wig, I'm not going to say a word. Well, this is clearly Kathy Bates from Misery's wig. Oh. Oh, yes. Right? Nailed it. Nailed yeah, it. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. And good for her because she looks like she's about to flog uh, some ankles in this picture. Do you know she's never been drunk? Mandy Moore in real life, she told me that. She said she's never been drunk. Why? I know. That's what I asked her. Uh, you know, and she said she would get drunk with me. I said, please, let me be the one to deflower you. Yeah. <laughs> she's never been drunk. Because Wait. when she she said that when she was growing up, she was growing up like with Christina Aguilera and Brittany and stuff, yeah. but her parents were like so Christian? no 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 oh. not even just that they were just like very good parents and yeah. they didn't let what? her like stray. <laughs> I know <laughs> imagine that what but she just never partied because she saw kind of like you know everybody else partying and she was just working so wow yeah. Yeah, she's like she's like salt of the earth like good what good would people. you give maybe not pure more. in a weird way no 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 like no, no. like pure and you're like oh god I wish I was that just a decent nice decent human being human being God forbid yeah. uh -huh. what would your first drink for Mandy Moore be? Mm. I think you got to ease in. I think you got to ease. I mean, I would love for her to have a margarita because I think a margarita is fun. Mm. It's, it's, you know, citrusy. It's mm. nice on the palate. A mm -hmm. nice tahini rim is gives it a little zest. Yeah, you can't give Mandy a martini. No, by, no, 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 no. No. And I'm, you know, I'm a martini She's never had girl. wine? She's never had a glass of no, wine? No, she has. She's, okay. she's, she's, she's just drank. never in She's never been like, she's I'm like, I don't, crazy. I've never blacked out like you have, Heather. You uh, know, well, that was, well, I mean. uh, you know, I'm hoping we're doing this upstairs <laughs> after that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and, Nicole Kidman again. And being the Ricardos, this was tragic. This was tragic. Yeah. I but didn't again, like this one. She's it's so character specific. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like that she played Lucille Ball. I want to give her a little credit, though. I didn't like that she played Lucille Ball either, but I do think... She did a good job. She did a good job. Yeah. Who yeah. would you have rather seen play Lucille? Uh, it was hard because it's like that. Very specific. I feel like Deborah Messing campaigned really hard. She did, and I feel like it wasn't. No. It was never. I was never on. I never wanted to back that. I. You know who I'm. Really? I'm gonna. You know who I would. Who? Kristen Wiig. Oh, duh. Kristen Absolutely. Wiig. Absolutely. She would have crushed it. Mm -hmm. um, and then finally, John Travolta <laughs> in the Adele Dazeem <laughs> incident, <laughs> Oscars. I mean, the Wig. Shanahan. God. Can I just say that uh, Adina Menzel has the best sense of humor because yeah. she is still doing this, like, uh, I was at this, I, I, I saw it on TikTok or something uh -huh. where she was like, I'm at the Oscars, I'm singing Frozen, I'm nominated yeah. for, you know, best song, and, you know, John Travolta's I introducing uh -huh. me, and then that happened, and she's like, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> uh, that's another thing that I often just say, Zazem and Hanson. That is one of my biggest fears, too, is because I really take time to make sure I pronounce everyone's name right. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, like, at the last minute, you're just like, oh, God, fuck. What was the inflection on? Like, what? Were and, and names are getting hard now. Names are getting so hard. Names and, are hard. And half the shows that are nominated for Emmys are yeah. a lot of, like, foreign films. Yeah. And it's, you know, a lot of particularly, like, Asian A lot of vowels. A lot, lot of vowels. And I'm like, I want to be so respectful. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I get it. And there's I There's accents. There's and accents. And there's more. And everyone's, you know, and everyone's got an attitude yeah. about everything. And I'm, I'm panicked about that. Well, you know. Like, what this you is do? We just didn't give a fuck. What? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, I was like, this Scientology gave it. Yeah, this. yeah. exactly. Um, what you do in that instance? Uh -huh. What are you wearing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's all you got to do. That's it. Yeah. Uh, and the winner of that wig uh, <laughs> category was John, John Travolta, Travolta, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, fantastic. Yeah, that was it. Honestly, um, let's see. We have time for a couple more stories. Yes, are we okay on time? Uh, yeah, we're at an hour now. Okay, so we got like we're having fun. Fifteen minutes. I don't know if you know this, as but as I'm not. having a lot of fun. Good. I'm glad you're having fun. We love fun. We <laughs> love we love fun. fun. Um, Noah Noah Cyrus <sighs> makes us do a double take as she looks just like her sister with blonde hair. Now, there's beef with them apparently. Oh yeah, total beef. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're a sister, if you have two sisters in the same. Yeah. Industry, you're going to have beef. Look at Kylie and uh, her sister, yeah. Danny. Yeah. I almost forgot. <laughs> Brittany and her sister. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think it's about, it was about the marriage. Oh, the yeah. Mom. The mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the mom stole her man. 
Which is not, if that's not the after school Jenny mm-hmm. Jones talk show episode that Sally, I Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Yeah. Jeez, yes. My mom stole my man. Mama, you a hoe and everyone knows it. I don't know who's running the Mari Povich uh, Instagram account or TikTok account, but they keep refreshing and bringing back old clips from Mari. And I'm like, who the whoever the fuck is running this needs a Peabody Award or something. Yeah. It is the best shit I've ever seen in my life. My favorite to this day, uh-huh. I still say it <laughs> yeah. regularly with the girl. And she's, well, they did this like backstage where it's uh-huh. like black and white uh-huh. and they're leaning up against a mm. chair or whatever. And they're just like, uh, <laughs> my name's Daisy and I'm 13 and I want a baby. I don't give a fuck if my mama wants me not have a baby. I'm gonna have one. Uh-huh. If my baby gets cold and needs a blanket, it's cool. I got three. Like that's that was that was. I it. have tried to learn that on TikTok. Oh. They, they keep yeah. Oh, it's if my, my baby wants designer, she'll get Prada. My baby. My- if I can't take care of my baby, it's cool. I'll sell it. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite is I'll send you these clips tonight. Have you ever seen the ones where Mari makes people face their biggest fear? Oh, the jar of pickles, the cotton jar balls. Of pickles, the cotton balls. When this woman, I mean, these people have like legitimate fears. They're not, everybody else on that show is a paid actor. These are people who actually have like fears. And he's like, what are you, you know, the woman's like, I am so afraid of, of, of cotton, the way it feels on your skin, everything. And he's like, bring out the bowl of cotton. And these women are like, ah! Just storming backstage. Lose their shit. It is everything. It's everything. It's everything. It brings me great. No, there's no greater joy. Like when I'm on my deathbed, if they're like reading me last rites, I'm like, pull up that TikTok. Up, I want to yeah. watch that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> refresh, refresh. We need to bring Mari back. Uh, That's the thing. Those kind of shows. Trashy we need, talk shows. We need trashy talk shows. Uh, well, uh, Noah, let's see. Mm-hmm. Noah took a page out of her sister Miley's style book. The singer and actress stepped out to perform at New York City's so-and-so's piano bar with a drastically different look than her usual dark locks. locks. Uh, Noah swapped her previously black hair for a shoulder uh, grazing blonde style with short bangs and plenty of bouncy curls, channeling not only her big sis, but also stars like Marilyn Monroe. Uh, I'm not getting that. She also sported a glam, smoky eye and nude lip color. So... I don't know. I will say I really like the softer makeup look on her. I she, do too. I think she looks beautiful. Um, because the for nails, a while oh God, there, the fucking nails. I hate the nails. Why are we the claws? It's the kids. It's the kids, but it's the, the kids, coffin the kids. and the thing. Yeah. It's the I'm kids. I'm over it. I hate it. The kids with the big nails. But obviously, they're talking about Miley's Grammy look mm-hmm. uh, that she won. I loved her in that I look. Did too. I loved Just, her performance. I loved her speech. I, did I loved too. everything about it. Now, um, do you do you have siblings? Have, yeah. You have a sister? I have an older sister. Yeah. Did you guys, was there ever like competition between the two of you? Were like, um, you like look the same or like. No, so that's the thing. My sister is, I mean, I'm obviously drop dead gorgeous. My sister is equally, if not prettier. Yeah. Like stunning. And mm. we we look totally different. Like I'm the Chloe of the family. My sister's the Kim. Oh. She's tiny, petite, dark. We have the same face and the same voice. And so it really trips people up. But my sister is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was always kind of the mastodon in the back. Just like, <laughs> there were never hand me downs. Like I got hand me downs from my dad, but I never got hand me downs from my sister. You never. got hand me downs from your dad? Absolutely. I'd Good wear like you. duck head shorts and like golf polos. Work yeah, mama. Yeah, work mama. I was a fudgy <laughs> kid. Don't forget. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, there was, n- there was never a uh, rivalry with that. Ever. Oh, Mm-mm. I would, I would feel like weird about that if, like, all of a sudden, like, I'm out and about, and then, like, my brother was like, "Hey," and uh-huh. you're like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, my, I was like the kid. I was such a chubby kid that when you know, back in our day, the girlies you'd shop at Limited too. Mm-hmm. I was at the Limited. You know, oh. I was three years younger than my sister. She was still limited to. I was at the limited wearing like a tan pantsuit to oh, a funeral. That's you know? great. That's good. Mm. Um, it also just reminds me of Britney and Jamie when Jamie Lynn was like, Britney, this was for you. And like sang all of her songs in front of her. Yeah, not okay. Not oh, okay. I, I get don't it. like it. I don't like well, it. Well, uh, speaking of wigs, Keith Urban, <laughs> um, <laughs> who was not nominated this year, maybe better luck next year. Mm-hmm. Keith Urban has compared Miley Cyrus' singing voice to an ashtray. And he's like, I love that voice. That's just Australian. And that was not yeah. Australian. That was not, that, that, that that was not was, even an attempt. Yeah. It was just some voice that came out. So Keith Urban has offered a peculiar yet well-meaning compliment to Miley Cyrus. Uh, said that her vocal timber to an unlikely object, an ashtray. Um... He said, uh, he didn't mince words when discussing Cyrus's singing prowess. He says, I've always loved Miley. I love her voice. He said, before delivering his eyebrow-raising comparison, (laughs) she sounds like an ashtray. And I mean that as a compliment. Uh, And then he said, I literally mean that as a compliment. So he said it twice. So, um... Yeah, um, we, 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 you know, doubled down, mm -hmm. which was an interesting move. Mm -hmm. I mean... 
I've also gotten that before. Like, I have a really You don't deep, sound like an ash. But I have a very deep, like, yes. raspy voice. Your voice is deeper than mine. It is, for mine, sure. Mine is, um, I don't know what mine sounds like. What does my voice sound like? A little gay? Mm. Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> you sound like my dad. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here just like somebody got my dad. <laughs> somebody got a menthol. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, when I was in college, I would go to like the student health center. You know, if you got like a UTI, uh -huh. they would always. I would leave there with a Z pack, no matter what it was. I could have a broken leg. You get a Z pack. Oh, the five day pill. The five day pill, and Less. that give you like horrible diarrhea. I would get a Z pack and a quit smoking pamphlet, and I like didn't even smoke. And I'm just like, no, this is my voice. <gasps> like so you I just had have that raspy. I had nodules, a la Ashley Simpson. Remember <gasps> Ashley Simpson? No. Yeah, I used to sing, and I can't sing anymore. Now I'm like a baritone. I'm a bass. Wow. Yeah, so that was my journey. Did Ashley Simpson have nodes? She had nodes. And, and remember, she couldn't sing, and that's why she had the track on SNL. Oh, that's what that, had, that's what that was. That was. And the, well, then why was her career ruined? That's she had nodes. Said. She had nodes. Leave you know who else had nodes? I believe Adele had nodes. Everyone's got nodes. Everyone's got nodes. It's Relax. Like, it's like the new, like, herp. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's got it. If you don't have nodes, then are you even alive? Yeah, if you don't have a cold sore every three months, what, what, what are you doing? You haven't lived. Yeah, well, yeah. speaking of cold sores. <laughs> Mm. Hinge is very popular. Mm -hmm. It's a very popular mm -hmm. dating app. You never know who you're going to get on this Hinge yeah. app. So this woman shows up to a Hinge date only yeah. to find her match on a date with someone else. Now, I wouldn't know what to do. Okay, let's just, I'll read Were it. Were they inviting a, to a threesome? Ooh, good question. Okay. So Vicky Tozer and a man she met on Hinge planned to meet for a paddle boarding date at a park after texting for a week. Mm. When the Seattle local arrived for the date, she saw the guy talking to another woman. At first she thought they knew each other, then she realized they were getting into the water together. Eventually, the woman realized that the guy had accidentally gone on the date with the wrong person. She shared the situation on TikTok in a video that has gone viral with more than 1.4 million views. So wait. Uh, no, he he double booked. He double booked he the date? He didn't just find a, a, a rogue woman in the yeah. park. He double booked. You think so? Yes, I know so. That's okay. how these men on these apps do it. They yeah. double book. Yeah. Sometimes triple. Yeah, it says he planned, he planned to meet her at the park on August 6th at 5.30. Just before the date, she texted him asking if they could meet at 6 instead as she was running late from work. He replied that he was already at the park and sent her his location along with details about the outfit so he, oh, so she could easily spot him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. When Tozer arrived, she saw him immediately in his blue shirt carrying a paddleboard. She thought they were approaching each other, but then noticed him turning to talk to another woman who also had a paddleboard. At first, she was confused and wondered if he knew the other woman or if they were friends. To avoid interrupting, Tozer decided to hang back and yeah. began uh, setting up her own paddleboard, hoping to give them some space. Um, they seemed to be having a great conversation. Then suddenly, they both got in the water. I was like, wait, what just happened? That's when I figured out that he must have mistaken her for me. She had brown curly hair, which I guess I also have, but we didn't look alike at all. Well, then, so this other woman we need to kill because she she just went along with it. Not it, a girl's girl. She's a skinwalker. She's a skinwalker, absolutely. <laughs> it's Bigfoot. So yeah. wait, so... Okay, first of so all, I'm gonna throw this out there. If yeah. I was in a park and a man approached me with a paddleboard, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't want a paddleboard. Hands down, end of story, period. period. Hard stop. Like, yes. I would be like, no, I'm not fucking paddleboarding with you. No. Get away from me. Hey, and I pull Heather. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's me from Hinge. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whistle. Oh, you know? my no. God. No. So I'm sorry. There was something. He double booked. But, we already know this. So, ah, uh, let's see. Okay, so. Wait, okay. Right away, he yes, responded right saying, away oh, my responded. Gosh, oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. I totally went on a date with the wrong person. Yeah. He was really embarrassed, but it felt genuine. He admitted he made a big mistake. Okay. He explained that he saw a girl with a paddleboard and assumed it was her. Okay. Okay. Well, then, then that's feeling fine. nervous, he just went with it. See, this is the problem. They should have had FaceTime sex before she showed up for this cute little meet cute with the paddleboard. That's why they didn't know each other. Wait, Maybe, FaceTime sex? Yeah. I think they, if they're already chit chatting, they should have FaceTime sex beforehand. That way you wouldn't, you know, you'd, you'd know her. What is FaceTime sex? What do you mean? Oh no! Facetime when you Facetime and you you but know like jerk one off. week into talking on Hinge. I don't know. I'm, I have, I've been out of the dating. <laughs> I was like Jesus. I've been out of the dating scene for a minute. I just thought that's what people just did. Just have some Facetime sex one week. One week. So you're like, yeah, I can't wait to go paddleboarding. But yeah. first, yeah, here's my here's my labia. Uh huh. Like, no, that's so uh -huh. weird. But whatever. Apparently, that's what people do. I mean, yeah, they're paddleboarding on dates. That's yeah. weird. 
No. Because, I, hey, guess where they're not going to find the body? In the middle of the lake. Great point. Wow. Because what? I never met up with her. No. Uh, she's at the bottom of the lake after paddleboarding with a complete stranger. I'm not doing an activity. I'm not doing a hike. I'm not doing anything. You know what I'm doing? Going for martini and oysters, and then we'll see where the night takes us. Yeah. 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 Come I'm going to ease Mandy Moore into alcoholism. Absolutely. <laughs> And she's I like, I didn't be with you. It's like, I didn't know we were on a date. And I'm like, oh, we are on a date. I know you're married with like three kids, but we are on a date right now. I love you. I want to wear you. Yeah. Uh, uh, this story. Oh. Is this our last story? Uh, so this story is straight up out of a horror film slash okay. rom-com comedy. Okay. Great. It's so weird and bizarre. And um, this is a, the daughter. Okay, so this daughter put this obituary out for her mother. Okay, so the mother's on the right giving you whatever that is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Goofball. She, Goofball yes. looks. So she, the daughter has put in the obituary for her mother and she made her death announcement. She, she passed away. Okay. However, she's going viral now because she literally just wrote this obituary and I'll just read a little bit let's see where is it this is the the actual announcement right here she says let's be clear it's a PSA and it's no joke it was written with sarcasm and relief but it's real so this is the obituary uh that she says I'm trying to she says Florence yes Florence did not want an obituary or anyone including family to know she died the obituary continues. That's because even in death, she wanted those she terrorized to still be living in fear, <laughs> looking over their shoulders. So this isn't so much an obituary, but more of a public service announcement oh. that my mom is actually dead. And the story gets weirder and weirder. It's actually a really bad written article, People Magazine. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, this is I very I had sloppy. to read this twice, and I was like, what's happening? But at the bottom of the article, it says, like, oh, it goes oh. through the family history. So the girl, like, her mother was awful. Like, no one liked this woman, uh -huh. the mom. And the mom who passed away had an identical sister, identical twin sister. Okay. And so the daughter says, I messaged my aunt, her identical twin sister, and had to ask her sister, did mom die? And she's like, I don't know. After some digging, no pun intended, I discovered it was her. So this girl hadn't talked to like her mom in forever. And the mom just wanted to like pass away and never be found again. She wanted people to know that she could be around the corner at any point and terrorize your life. That's what I want. I, I want that too. too. I want, I want, I've had, I have very specific way like funeral arrangement mm -hmm. and they don't really ho hold up in a court of law but I, I did give it to my attorney yeah like i want a steel drum band okay at my, at my funeral i want rum runners being passed out i want a dj i the chicken tenders you know i want a dip fountain a ranch dressing fountain i just want to lean into all the things that i love this is why we're friends this is why we're friends. i mean absolutely i'm like yeah that's what i want yeah. my husband i said if i go first like i just want you to know that I, this is what i want i want strippers or like i want mm -hmm. like go-go dancers yes i want drag queens uh, let's like yeah i want Donkeys with beer. Oh, donkeys with beer. Yeah, my yeah, brother had that at his wedding. Well, can you elaborate on what that is? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Do you not know what donkeys and beer are? I, I, I love it's both. It's like FaceTime sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's literal donkeys. Okay. So burrows right. with uh they had satchels over them with beer on ice in the like Is this wedding in San Antonio? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this checks out. This checks out. Yes. Um Yolanda was a bridesmaid. Yeah, she was yeah, yeah. No, she was she was the bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Selena? <laughs> um but literally the donkeys would walk around and you're like, oh, there's a beer. It was kind of amazing. Like, yeah, game I changer. Um yeah, I want go-go dancers, martinis, all of that. Mm -hmm. I want fog. Oh, I want fog. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even thought about that. I gotta call uh, Emily, remind me to call my attorney <laughs> after this. I want I fog. Plan my funeral. Yeah, we gotta play the funeral. I want fog. Yes. And I want it to be when they're bringing out the casket. Mm. Like, I want dramatic. What song do I want? Haunted Mansion by Taylor Swift. Oh, I love that. I do love that. <laughs> I, you know, I saw we were gonna do an article about Sade earlier. I think I want, there must have been a stranger outside. I'm a big Sade fan. I think I, I want something sexy. Well, did you hear that Sade's coming back? She's writing <gasps> some new music because she's writing music for her trans son. I'm there. 
I'm there. I'm, right? I love her. I have a picture of Sade at the end of my hallway, and it kind of scares me sometimes, but I'm glad it's Sade. I have a friend who has a Sade tattoo on her calf. I mean, it's one year, my dad, I want you to think of like a are big- Are we Sade sisters? We are Sade sisters. My dad, who was like a big Southern dude, but a music aficionado, oh. he get, gave everybody in our gated community for Christmas at the Christmas party Sade CDs, and I thought it was a joke. I was like, Dad, how high are you right now? And he's like, everybody just needs to know about Sade. They do. <laughs> the children need to, need know, to know about Emily, Sade. That's another thing you don't know about. She Emily. Did, she's young. She doesn't know about Sade. I always add what it to- What kind of a I don't. hell mouth are we on? <laughs> How do you not know who Sade is? She is just, that is my, I want to be laid to rest uh, with Sade. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know who Enya is? No. <gasps> sell away, sell away, sell away. You are fired, you are fired, fired you, you are, are fired. fired. <laughs> get the fuck, uh, get the fuck get out the of fuck here. Out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I used to do, I remember when they'd play Inya at my uh, school in theater class and we'd be in a, like a massage train. Uh, you know, it was creepy. And it was like, sell away, sell away. <laughs> Wait. It, I wasn't molested. It wasn't. I was the only one who wasn't. <laughs> I was. No, I, I didn't I was, know about your massage train yeah, class massage train in elementary theater. school. <laughs> I was at SeaWorld. <laughs> oh, God. And they would play Enya yeah. and Sade uh -huh. during the whale performances. Oh, of course. It's very appropriate. Oh, yeah. And they would pick the kid out of the of the whole group uh -huh. or the, the theater. And they would bring the kid up. And, like, I got to, like, get on Shamu. Uh -huh. That's what I knew. That's when you knew you were going to be a star. <laughs> it was fucking Enya playing. I'm on Shamu. I'm like, <laughs> Free Willy, I think, yeah. came out. I was oh. just like. Do you know about Free Willy? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I got I to gotta hit her with my car later. You really do. I just got to run her over. Yeah. Drag her body through the streets. Well, this you is know, unbelievable. You know, if you parked in the lot and if yeah. you just back, back up <laughs> and she's against that wall, it'll just break her legs uh, and she'll walk it perfect, off. Perfect. Perfect. She'll walk it off. Yeah. Because <laughs> I need her to work tomorrow. You're going to crawl to the Emmys. <laughs> <laughs> What happened, Emily? She didn't know anything. You know what? I oh, actually, well, I'll hit her again. I, I yeah. do owe her a playlist, though, because yes. we'll be like, you know, riding around on tour or whatever. I'm like, Emily, do you know this, this? This I do. I owe you a playlist. Yes. You know Rage Against the Machine? Huh? Okay. Yeah. All right. I teach her things, though. So she she does. Bullshit. No, can I tell you? Emily's great. How old are you, Emily? 26? I just turned 26. 26. Emily made me like a Canva, like PowerPoint presentation, uh -huh. of, like the cool shit I needed to buy. And I res I love that. I respect that. You know, a lot of it didn't come in my size. So I was oh. stressed out about that. Oh. But I, I I got it. You know, she's, oh. you gotta have, I keep her, you know, in the know and she keeps me young. Yeah. It's always good to have that, like, you know, the back and forth. But I will youth. again. <laughs> Emily? Emily? Yes. But I will uh, break her legs. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, we'll have to make you a playlist. Yeah, we we'll love to that. do that. Well, yeah. uh, Heather. Hey, this has been so fun. I'm so glad you were here. I know. Thank you for having me. I've been, can I tell you, I saw you, like, this was like 10 years ago. I mean, we, we've been doing this for a while. Can but you I remember, clip this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you do a show. It may have been here, maybe in the Laugh Factory or something. And I remember being obsessed with you. Aww. I've been following you for. Ever. I know, same. I was like, I don't think we've like ever hung out. No, it's always been like Instagram. I'm in LA and I know. I'm in Atlanta and I'm on the East Coast. So I, know. I, I know. We keep like two ships in the night passing, but I, I adore you. And I think we should clip this together. And I think we should send this as a sizzle reel to like, I don't know, do something. Okay. All I'm right. down for that. Let's do it. Down and, to clown. Uh, please. Let's go for it. Um, yeah. Please. And tell everyone where they can find you on the road, all that stuff. On the road, all the things, Heather on the tour. Specials. Com. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The specials coming out on Hulu. Mm -hmm. It'll be out in like a couple weeks. Uh, we'll announce that. And I'm on the road. Just Heather on tour. Dot com, shaking my tits on Instagram, TikTok, you know, doing the use, <laughs> doing the Lord's work. It is what it is. It really is. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Heather, for being here. Thank and I, we will me. be hanging out. Fuck yeah. In the future for sure. About to black out. Uh, so, and as yeah. always, we will see you next time here on the Just Saying Podcast. You guys have a fantastic week. I got to go have a Mai Tai now in Hawaii. Let's do it. Bye. Bye.